Okay, a 40-year-old man in the U.S. has about a 0.242 percent risk of dying during the next year. Uh, an insurance company charges $275 for a life insurance policy that pays a $100,000 death benefit. In other words, it pays that if the person dies during the year. Um, otherwise, they, they, um, you know, just get their $275 and the person doesn't get anything. Uh, so what is the expected value for the person who's buying the insurance? Um, so, so, so there's two possible outcomes here. Uh, and, uh, so outcome number one, of course, is, is, is dying. Uh, and outcome number two is not dying. And, uh, each of those has an associated probability. The probability of, of dying, presumably, is 0 0.00. 242, and the probability of not dying, then, is the complement of that, which is 99758, right? 1 minus the probability of dying. Uh, and then the value of the outcome, uh, well, the value of dying, and I, I know we're talking, we're purely talking monetary values here, of course, <laughs> not, um, uh, emotional values or, or life value, uh, purely monetary, then for the person buying the insurance and their family, uh, the value of, um, to them is the $100,000 they get minus the $275 they had to pay for the policy. Uh, so they have a positive net benefit of 99725 Um, if they don't die, then the financial value of the insurance is a negative $275. Uh, so the, our expected value, then, this expected value is, uh, the probability multiplied by the value of the outcome plus our other probability times the value of its outcome. Uh, and altogether, that gives us a negative value of 33. In other words, if we had, uh, a bunch of people, you know, thousands of people, uh, who are, you know, 40, thousands of 40-year-old men, then on average, the men will have lost $33. Now, it, it's not surprising that this value is negative. That's the only way the insurance company can afford to offer policies. I mean, that $33 on average is, uh, is what's paying for their expenses, um, and, you know, profits and everything else that goes into a business, um, for the agents and everything else. Uh, and really the reason that they can afford to pay out that occasional, uh, $100,000 benefit is because of all the people who don't die who balance it out. Uh, so, you know, even though this has a negative expected value to the purchaser, uh, there's certainly security, you know, knowing that your family's cared for benefits to having insurance, which might make that expense worthwhile.